What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, well, this is never good, right? Well, in most cases, it sucks. But in this case, it was great. I actually chopped this guy up because I got a new rod in. Uh, on a different circumstance, I actually broke this guy right here. Actually, I broke it a while ago. This is a prototype. Uh, this is part of the prototype 740C uh, Ultra Finesse. So this is the pre-production of what is now the 740. This was a 741. Just didn't have guides and all that. I actually broke it a couple years ago. I never turned it in for warranty because I had it hanging up on my wall back here just because I didn't really need it. And I got some other rods in, so other 740s and finesse rods to replace it. So I finally replaced it. They warranted it out, did the straight swap, cut the, uh, the section off here, sent it into those guys at uh, Dobbins over, talked with Bryce and everything, let them know just in case they had another prototype, which they didn't because that was kind of a one-off, two-off rod um, that I was using and testing and designing, all that kind of stuff. We swapped it out. Uh, we changed that heavily. We added way more guides. We extended the, the butt end here. We put the, the keeper um, at the bottom. It's more on lines of the old DX701, C Finesse and 702. Uh, but yeah, so I just updated and upgraded since it was just sitting. I actually broke I have another 740 that I was using for the last like 20 days up in St. Clair and Sturgeon Bay. And I actually, the rods are phenomenal until I got home and I pulled them out of my uh, rod carrier and tried to put it into my center rod locker in my boat. And as I was putting it in, I heard it snap. I pulled it out and about like an inch and a half of the tip snapped off. So I just replaced, um, I put the tip guide, I, I unglued the tip, put the tip down here. So now instead of a 740, it's probably a 720 and a half. Um, so the tip's probably gonna be a little bit stiffer, a little bit more, it's gonna be a little slower. So, uh, which is fine. So I just warranted that one to get an actual 740. So I'm gonna have that one as a backup and use this one or use that one as a backup and use that one just cause it has a little bit more tip power to it. So, uh, but yeah, that is it. I am glad it didn't break in the, the mail. Uh, they actually ship them really well. They wrap them all in bubble wrap. They put tip protectors on them. Um, as you can see, the bottom is in bubble wrap. I actually just cut it so I can throw it in the, uh, the trash can. So, um, on the other thing, oh, I don't know where it is. Uh, on that Jackal, that Kara with the uh, little blades and stuff on it that I had in the last video, it's, it sucks in open water. It is more of a mat, heavy mat. <laughs> lily pads, thick cover kind of frog. Uh, when I was throwing it in like just open water around cypress trees and just off bank, it sank pretty well. I mean, it was sinking pretty good. Uh, it filled up with water. So yeah, that tells me it is definitely a heavy mat, lily pad, frog. If you haven't seen it, go check out the other video I just posted uh, probably like four or five days ago. Great frog. It's just more intended for that thick mats lily pads going on top, the blades are knocking and clinking and clanging and all that kind of stuff. So great frog, I'm still gonna use it. It's still the great hooks, still skips well, it's super soft. So other than that, that is what we did. Swapped it out, did a warranty exchange, 740. I'm gonna probably keep it as a backup. So appreciate you guys for watching, peace.